Good evening, and welcome to St. Augustine Church, as we are about to begin the Holy Hour before the Blessed Sacrament and receive in a special way the blessing of the real presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. This evening, our prayers will be offered for the sanctity and dignity of life, for vocations to married life, consecrated life, priesthood and single life, and for the canonization of Blessed Michael McGivney, the founder of the Knights of Columbus. We will also be remembering the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of the Knights of Columbus fraternity, whose names are written in the book of necrology placed near the image of Blessed Michael McGivney. Venerable Michael McGivney, a model Paris priest and founder of the Knights of Columbus, was recognized as a saint in his day by the people closest to him. When he is named blessed by Pope Francis on October 31st, the church will declare what many have been believed, the holy soul of Father McGivney lives today to intercede for us before the throne of God. Over the years, thousands of favors have been attributed to Father McGivney's intercession as knights, their families, and Catholics throughout the world pray to him in times of need. He is known especially for favors related to employment and finances, reconciling family members, overcoming addiction, recovering from serious illness, as well as conversion and return to the church. Coinciding with issues, Father McGivney dealt with a Paris, as a Paris priest on earth these favors show his ongoing care and concern for those who call upon him in faith. In the spirit of total trust in God, we invoke as well Father McGivney's intercession during this evening of adoration before the Blessed Sacrament. Let us be mindful of the fact that miracles have occurred in the past of those who pray for a special healing at the time of a beatification. We pray, most of all, that through the holy witness of Father McGivney, many will be brought closer to God and that we ourselves may renew our love of God and neighbor. Let us open our hearts as we pray together during this sacred hour with our Lord Jesus, truly pleasant in the blessed sacrament. May we learn and live out the examples of blessed Michael McGivney to comfort the suffering and the weary the lonely and the oppressed with works of charity and a gentle heart. May we to become vessels of mercy in our day and so enter into our heavenly inheritance. Amen. Amen. Our presider for this holy hour is Reverend Father Martin and, and jo Joalu, and uh, we have also acknowledged the presence of our state chaplain, Father Anthony Vass Happily, and leading us into our prayers tonight, our Grand Knight elect, Brian Marston, and our Grand Knight Oliver Berber. Our acolytes, our brother Noel Panello, and Charity Garcia Macapinla. Sing for us is the praise and glorify choir. Live streaming for us are Brother Ro Abueme, Louis Valdez, and Vivian Ramos from the ATV Ministry. I am Noel Panlilio, the State Deputy of the Knights of Columb Columbus, California Jurisdiction. Please stand.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O grace in all thanksgiving in every moment time. Lord our God, in this great sacrament we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world out. And amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. For all who have lost loved ones, and especially for parents of a child who was miscarried, aborted or stillborn, that they will find peace in the promise of the resurrection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world out, and amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us for our sins, sins. save us from the fires, fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. For all who struggle with addictions that through Christ triumph and ascend to, into glory, they may triumph over the, their temptations and gain strength and peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us for our sins, sins. save, save us, from us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the coming of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will open the minds and hearts of those who now reject the gospel of life and allow them to be convinced of the truth and goodness of all that the church professes concerning human life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world out, and amen. O oh, my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us for our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need, need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. For mothers who have died at the hands of abortion providers, that they may experience reconciliation and together with their children know God's peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires well. of hell, and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. For all mothers, that they might come to know the wonder of their vocation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world doubt, and amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us for our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Hail Holy, Holy Queen, Queen Mother, Mother of Mercy, hear our lives for us in this now hope. To you we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to you we send up our sigh, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn the Lord most gracious advocates, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, so unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what it contain and obtain what it promised to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly, I fly unto, unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God of all creation, Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, through whom all things were made. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Spirit of life and truth, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. On each child just conceived, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For their safety and health, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For nine months of growth, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That an angel may protect them, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For peace and for hope, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On all new fathers, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On fathers who are alone, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On fathers unemployed, Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. On fathers addicted, Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. On fathers who are abusive. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. On young fathers who are afraid. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. On fathers who run away. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On all new mothers. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On mothers who are alone. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On mothers unemployed. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On mothers addicted. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On mothers who are abusive. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On young mothers who are afraid, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On mothers who are in pain, Lord, Lord have mercy. On those who defend life, Lord, Lord have mercy. On those who love the child in the womb, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On those who pray for the unborn child, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On all who work to change and just laws, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. On all who live the gospel of life, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On congressmen who work for life. Lord, Lord have mercy. On our president. Lord, Lord have mercy. On the members of the House. Lord, Lord have mercy. On the members of the Senate. Lord, Lord have mercy. On all too little to vote or persuade. Lord, Lord have mercy. On all who work for life. Lord, Lord have mercy. On doctors of life and truth. Lord, Lord have mercy. On residents who love the little child. Lord, Lord have mercy. On doctors who gaze on life's mysteries. Lord, Lord have mercy. On physicians who see into the womb, Lord, Lord have mercy. On surgeons who heal the unborn child, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On all who defend the child in the womb, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On nurses who love little babies, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On nursing students, Lord, Lord have mercy. On those who first hear the heartbeat, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On those who first feel a kick, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. On nurses who cradle the newborn. Lord have mercy. On nurses who foster the unborn. Lord have mercy. On all who protect defenseless life. Lord, Lord have mercy. On judges who struggle with justice. Lord, Lord have mercy. On lawyers who seek to speak truth. Lord, Lord have mercy. On judges who love life. Lord, Lord have mercy. On the judges of our Supreme Court. Lord, Lord have mercy. On those who argues before them. Lord, Lord, have mercy. On the unborn child who rests in their hands. Lord, Lord, have mercy. On all victims of abortion. Lord, Lord, have mercy. On the woman whose memories cause her to cry. Lord, have mercy. On those whose pain nags and holds on. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. On the unborn who rests with God. Lord, Lord, have mercy. On all who seek mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. On all who seek peace. Lord, Lord, have mercy. On all who seek healing and mercy and perfect peace. Lord, Lord have mercy. God, our loving Father, grant wisdom to those who govern us, compassion and courage to those who work to defend human life, and safety and care to every human being. For you alone who formed us in our mother's wombs and who call us home to heaven, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather this evening on the feast of Justin Martyr in the Eucharistic presence. We gather before Jesus Christ, truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. We know that by our participation in every Eucharistic celebration, whenever we attend Mass and we receive the Lord, in the precious body and blood, that we are drawn to the eternal true relationship of love. In receiving the Eucharist, we are most intimately united to the person of Christ. Because when we receive Christ, he nourishes us spiritually. He calls us to reconciliation thereby effecting a true communion among all who eat his flesh and drink his blood. But we're here before our Lord present in the Blessed Sacrament. We do not gather to celebrate the Eucharist, but we gather this evening to worship the Eucharist under the appearance of bread. Yes, my dear friends, we are invited to look beyond the mere accident of the bread, to see Christ indeed here present on the altar. How grateful we are that our, that our adoration of the Blessed Sacrament aids us spiritually. By his presence, Christ fulfills his promise to be with us always until the end of time. Christ will never leave us alone on our pilgrimage, on our return to the Father. As St. Thomas Aquinas wrote, it is the law of friendship that friends should live together. Therefore, Christ lives with us always, and he is present with us in the blessed sacrament. He never abandons us. And what better way for us as believers to enrich our friendship with the Lord than to spend time with him just as we are doing this evening, spending an hour with the Lord. We know that to spend time daily with a friend is a blessing. Indeed, he will never demand eat of us, but should so great a lover of humanity have to ask us to spend time with him? I don't think so. He doesn't need to ask. If we truly love him, if we truly cherish all that Christ has done, 
then on our part, we need to make every effort to spend time with he who is the life, with he who is the truth, with he who has called us and has said to us that he will give us eternal life. Our worship of the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament this evening also signifies or helps to purify us. As one psychologist said, she compared her prayer before the Blessed Sacrament to deep radiation therapy. She says that the Lord opens for us our internal gaze to all that is good as well as to that which is disordered in our lives. That when we are before God and we gaze on him, he helps to open up to us all that is within us. So we see what is good and what is disordered and that helps us to work on what is disordered so as to live a life to what he calls us to. With that insight, the Lord can lead us and help us to heal along as we journey on this spiritual encounter that he calls us to. Finally, as we grow in our friendship with Jesus, and as we ourselves become purified, the Eucharist teaches us how to imitate the Lord's own self-sacrifice in our service to the community of the church. As St. Teresa of the Child Jesus tells us in her autobiography, I quote, I knew that one love drove the members of the church to action, and that if this love were extinguished, the apostles would have proclaimed the gospel no longer. The martyrs would have shed their blood no more. I saw and realized that love sets off the bonds to all vocations, that love is everything, that this same love embraces every time and every place. Therefore, our beloved saint, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus would exclaim, my call and our call is to love. Love appeared to me to be the hinge for my vocation. Thus, my brothers and sisters, here before the Lord, in the Blessed Sacrament, we are called to learn anew that true love and what it costs that love for our Savior, for each and every one of us. If we are to be faithful ministers in imitation of our Lord and Master, then we need to understand what that call to love is. For St. Augustine taught us in one of his writings that it will be the most holy Eucharist that will help us to be that which we see. As we gather in the presence of the Lord, body, soul, and divinity this evening, may he who has called us to imitate him, may he who has called us to remain in him, to feast on him, Help us, brothers and sisters, to see what love that we are called to, to see what companionship we are called to with him, a companionship of friendship that we need to each and every time nourish by spending time with him as much as possible so we can grow in our relationship with our Lord and master.
Prayer for priests. God our Father, you made each of us to use our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire young people who you call to the priesthood, consecrated religious life, sacramental married life, or single life. Enlighten their minds to know the true vocation in their life so they may have the grace to follow it faithfully. Inspire us with a strong example of disciples dedicated to living out their own call to holiness. Send workers into your great harvest so that the gospel is preached. The poor are served with compassion. The suffering are comforted with love. And your people are strengthened by the sacraments. We ask you this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for seminarians. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for your all seminarians. We thank you for these men who have taken the leap of faith to enter the seminary to better understand and respond to your voice as you call them to deeper fulfillment in you. Give them the fortitude, courage, and perseverance to be faithful to your son who is calling them closer to himself. Send your Holy Spirit to inspire more men to become seminarians who desire to know you, love you, and serve you. We ask this Christ in the room prayer feast, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Mary on vocations. O Mary, Mary who raised your divine Son in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, Intercede for all young people, especially those clouded by doubt about their vocations. As a young woman, be nurtured with loving care, and the word of God made flesh. Intercede for all young people, especially from our parish, who are called to a vocation to the priesthood, consecrated religious life, sacramental married life, or single life. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You know each of us, and you call us by name to serve you in faith. Help us to respond generously to your voice. Give courage and guidance to those you call to the priesthood and diaconate, to religious life and lay ministry, so that they may respond wholeheartedly and serve devoutly. Amen. Amen. Father McGivney did not only live a life devoted to the Catholic faith, he also focused all his spiritual, mental, and physical energies on helping others persevere and grow in that faith. 
He guarded against whatever might diminish the practice of Catholicism. Let us learn more of Father McGivney's life, his ministry to the marginalized, and how he founded the Knights of, Col Knights of Columbus. Father McGivney was a man of few yet effective words who drew upon the Word of God for inspiration. Those who knew him, however, had much to say about his character and manner. They remarked on the inviting tone of his voice, his firm yet friendly demeanor, his popular personality and the positive and lasting impression he made on others. According to one contemporary, parishioners called him a positive saint and meant it. A blind man would come each Sunday to hear that voice. A fellow priest observed, Father McGivney, though a man of an assuming character, was possessed of an indomitable will. Another priest said he lived a life unselfishly given to the service of others, a life spent in the promotion of his neighbor's welfare, a life redolent of deeds whose motive was the social, moral, intellectual, and religious improvement of his fellows. Coincident with his spiritual labors, he wrote also for the temporal welfare of his brethren. Perhaps the best description came from a contemporary who wrote of his priest's face, a face of wonderful repose. There was nothing hers in that countenance, although there was everything that was strong. After each of the petitions, we shall say, Lord, through the intercession of Father McGivney, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord through, through the intercession, the intercession of, of Father, Father McGivney, McGivney, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For all those who seek a life of holiness in the priesthood, consecrated life, and the lay apostolate, that they may follow Father McGivney in leading a life unselfishly given to the service of others. Lord, Lord to the intercession of Father, Father McGivney, McGivney, hear our prayer. For the renewal of the practice of frequent sacramental confession and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, that many more Catholics may seek union with God through the forgiveness of their sins and worship of the real presence of Jesus. Lord, to the intercession of Father McGivney, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God, God our Father, Father protector, protector of the, the poor and the defender of the widow and orphan, you call your priest, Father Michael J. McGivney, to be an apostle of Christian family life and to lead the young in the generous service of their neighbor. Through the example of his life and virtue, may we follow your Son, Jesus Christ, more closely, fulfilling his commandment of charity and building up his body in his church. Let the inspiration of your servant prompt us to greater confidence in your love, so that he may continue his work of caring for the needy in the hour of the outcast. We have asked ask that to glorify your venerable servant, Father Michael, Michael J. McGivney, on earth according to the sign of your holy will. Through his intercession, grant the favor I now Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
giving them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.